Hey Scorpio, it's your girl Tasha, aka Mama Jim, aka Jim the Butterfly, and I'm here with your July monthly general tarot scope. I want to say thank you to everyone that's been liking, sharing, and subscribing to my videos. Thank you to everyone that has um, been following me on Instagram. If you haven't done so, I am Jim, G E M underscore tarot. Nope. Nope, that's wrong. Jim, G-E-M, the butterfly underscore tarot on Instagram. I do provide daily and weekend forecast group by the elements when I can. You know, um, schedules permit. I do work full-time job. If I can get them in, I get them in. Um, personal readings, I will be starting to take personal readings the weekend of July 23rd. So I appreciate your patience with that. Moving is a beast, especially in this Georgia weather. And, you know, I've had some other things going on, so it's been taking me a little minute. But I want to be able to get everything back in order so I can provide you guys these readings in a comfortable space. All right. Um, and for those who are just joining me, welcome. All right. So this will be for, oh, Got some new spreads coming up, got some new decks coming up, got some giveaways, got some sales. So, you know, guys, continue. I appreciate your patience and I continue. I appreciate your continued support. It's 4th of July. They're popping firecrackers, fireworks, whatever you want to call them. Pyrotechnics or something. I don't know. They're out there. Okay. You know, I, I see on Instagram where you have the uh, the veterans. They put these signs outside, you know, for people who who are um, doing fireworks, who are suffering from PTSD. I can only imagine um, what they go through on holidays like this when when people are doing fire fireworks. It's got to be pretty traumatic, because my God. They are scary. You don't know if you should sit there and hit the floor. You don't know what the hell to do. But anyway, let's see, Scorpio, what we have. One card for general, one card for advice, one card for love. We had, ooh, you had a paparata. Ten of cups. Everything is good. Everything is content. Um, feels that way anyway. Feels family life and everything is fine. Like, you're in a good spot. So let's see what we have. General advice. Love, finance, health. And I guess I need to put a disclaimer out there that I said on the other video. Um, I do... I do, I will pull a card for health, but I do not, in case you guys have ever, you know, wondered, I do not do health readings at this time. You know, things may change. Um, so, you know, please don't, I, 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 I don't do readings where people call me and ask me, well, do I have such and such? I don't do those type of readings. Okay. Not at all. So I feel like when you when you do those type of readings, I feel like the person who's calling, their anxiety, their anxiety is is already high. You know, your your anxiety as a reader or your energy as a reader, I feel like it's elevated in a sense because, you know, that's a lot of pressure, you know. And granted, these these re these readings, when you're dealing with test results, you know, y'all for those who don't know. I am a registered nurse. When it comes to test results, I would rather something be definitive and objective than subjective. Okay? So. <clears throat> Two cards for health. So again, you know, for love, not love, general, not general. <laughs> um, your paparata card, 
you have the Ten of Cups. I feel like, you know, things just feel like hunky-dory. I, I feel like you're content where you are. You've made strides and you're happy where you are right now. That doesn't mean that you are at a stopping point, but you're just taking time to stop and smell the roses. And that's a beautiful place to be within the month of July. Okay. You're celebrating with your family. You're out. You know, this is 4th of July. You may be out celebrating with your family, having a good time, having fun in the sun or uh, the winter for those who are um, below in the, in the southern uh, hemisphere. You're enjoying the winter time as well. All right. Because I know I got people all over the world who watches who watch these videos. So. General. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. General, for the month of July, you have the um, Three of Wands in reverse. I feel like for some of you, I don't feel like this is necessarily anything pessimistic. I feel like, again, this is just you stopping to smell the roses. Um, when I see the Three of Wands in upright positions, it makes me feel like you're looking for something at this time. I feel like, but it's reversed. So I feel like... You're not necessarily looking for anything. I feel like you're just kind of standing still at this point in time. And you're just kind of taking in the environment. You're just enjoying yourself. Again, the, this just reiterates what I said with the Ten of Cups. For career-wise, um, you have the Nine of Swords. Which is interesting because when I see this card in the career factor, I feel like for some of you, you may be uh, worried about what your next step is when it comes to career. Some of you, I feel like you actually have a fear that you may get fired. You may have a fear like you maybe some of you are actually staying up late at night worrying about. Um, maybe you're putting in some extra hours. I feel like you maybe you're worrying about whether. Um, this is where you need to be. Maybe you're trying to, maybe you're looking, maybe you're waiting to hear from another job. Um, some of, I just feel like some of you are probably like working third shift and it's really getting the best of you. I don't really feel like it's anything. I don't feel like it's um, anything bad per se. Now, what I will say with the three of wands in reverse and this nine of swords upright for career um for those who are working night shift you are not a night shift person okay and that's part of the reason why you are just like you're tired and you're you're frustrated because maybe you're ready to get off of this shift but for right now they don't have anything available for you and you have to just kind of withstand whatever's going on let me get an extra card for this to try to figure out what is this nine of swords what, what does this worry about maybe you're worrying about a little bit of Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to try to pop out. Yeah, I feel like you may be worried about getting a new job. Okay? Um, needing a new job. Needing a new shift. Um, you feel like maybe with where you are now, the time may be running down. I feel like for some of you, you're waiting for that. That If, if it's... Um, if you're trying to start a new business and you're looking for that, I feel like with some of you, you may be like, um, almost like, um, you're trying to find this hot new, I keep hearing like hot new deal, a hot new idea. You, you're trying to come up with something, but you keep having writer's block. Maybe you're up all night trying to figure that out when it comes to career. Um, but you know, the thing about it is I feel like you're working against yourself. Okay. And you, it's, you feel like you need to stay up to work at it, but I actually feel like you just need to take a good sleep. Like you need to have a really good sleep. You need to rest your brain. You, you're thinking if you stay up that it's going to come to you, but it actually you're working in opposite opposition of yourself. All right. Um, when it comes to finances. Excuse me. You have the king of cups. I feel like um, I feel like with the King of Cups, um, this is you actually. <sighs> with the king of cups 
I feel like you are trying to um, thought it's throwing me off, y'all. You trying to find it's like you're you're trying to it's like you're trying to keep yourself encouraged. You're trying to keep yourself in a very um positive state of mind. It makes me feel like, yeah, you 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 are having to take a break, take a, a breather for a second. Um, Y'all, oh my God. You're having to take a breather for a second, but you realize that um, 